The issue of the return of Mandatory Reserve Officers Training Corps or ROTC is among the pressing issues right now. And during his sauna today, the President disclosed that this is one of his priorities seeking help from the Congress for its implementation. Meanwhile, some legislators expressed their reactions on the issue. Dante Amento tells us why live. Yes, uh, Dante, go ahead. Good evening, uh, William. One of the issues which gained a big impact or reactions from uh, legislators and uh, guests during the State of the Nation address or sauna of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. today is the Mandatory Reserve Officer Training Corps or CORE or ROTC. The President stressed that one of his proposed bills to the Congress is the return of ROTC, particularly for senior high school students. This seeks to reinstitute the ROTC program as, mandatory com as a mandatory component of senior high school programs, grades 11 and 12, in all public and private tertiary level educational institutions. The aim is to motivate, train, organize and mobilize students for national defense preparedness, including disaster preparedness and capacity building for risk-related situations. Bato de la Rosa expressed gratitude for the President's pronouncement. Arotising, of course, of course. Yung uh, ating um, mandatory military, military training for uh, grades 11 and 12. Uh, happy ako doon dahil that's my uh, pet bill. But Senator Risa Ontiveros and ACT Teachers Representative Franz Castro believe there is another approach to inculcate patriotism and discipline among the youth. It may allegedly be prone to abuse that would result to human rights violations among the students. Sa, sa ACT Teachers Party list ay ekis yun. Uh, Matagal na naming ina-argue no itong uh, ROTC na ito ay uh, hindi naman ito makakatulong doon sa pagde-develop ng disiplina or ng patriotism ng mga ano uh, mga kabataan uh, ma maano lang to ma mai-involve lang sa human rights violate ma human rights violation hindi ko pa rin sinusuportahan o susuportahan ang mandatory ROTC programa mula sa nakaraan na napatunayan, hindi yun ang optimal. Kasi yung mga kabataan natin may iba't ibang paraan para mahalin at magsilbi kay inang bayan. Philippine National Police Officer in Charge, Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., on the other hand, believes there will be safeguards in order to avoid possible abuses in implementing the military training. Last July 20, the National Youth Commission, or NYC, wrote a letter to the President urging the chief, the chief executive to issue an executive order for the mandatory return of ROTC for all universities and colleges. Meanwhile, William uh, Yusek Cardema of uh, NYC in a message to UNTV expressed that they are happy for the pronouncement of the president, which he uh, included as a priority of his administration, the Reserve Officers Training Corps or ROTC. Back to you, William. Yes, uh, thank you. Dante Amento reporting live from the House of Representatives.